BFTB, best fight the best. So Anthony Joshua is not going to the Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury mega fight. Let's find out why. I never let you down, I'm a shine on sight. Keep your mind on your grind and off of mine's all right. Right hard, I'm a ball, don't know squares. I float in quarter million dollar cars everywhere. I go, I know, in the lead it may seem me might be. But no matter what they doing, they don't do it like me. Like a G, I hold it down for the town I'm at. In a flash like that, recognize I'm back, I'm back. April 2017, Deontay Wilder goes to the Anthony Joshua Vladimir Klitschko fight. Um, he's there, you know, trying to make uh, a unification, trying to make that. He'd already been avoided already by Joseph Parker. He was trying to make it with Anthony Joshua. So, you know, Anthony Joshua, shout out to him. You know, he defeats um, Vladimir Klitschko in a good fight. And instead of calling out Deontay Wilder, who was ringside, um, he calls out Tyson Fury, a guy who hadn't fought um, since November of 2015. Um, here we are in April 2017, so this is like almost two years now he hadn't fought. This dude was out of shape completely. No sparring, no training, no nothing. Um, just drinking and and drugging it up um, dude was huge but yet that's who Anthony Joshua called out even though Deontay Wilder was ringside you know Anthony Joshua was like um, you know Tyson Fury where you at you know I'd love to fight Tyson Fury I want to give the fans what they want to see um, again Deontay Wilder was sitting ringside and who had been calling this dude out for well over a year now um, but, you know, Tyson Fury, in normal Tyson Fury mode, accepted his challenge. You know what I'm saying? Told him he's a boxer's dream. Accepted his challenge. Well, at the time of the Anthony Joshua Vladimir Klitschko fight, there were, you know, four champions. Tyson Fury being the lineal champion. Anthony Joshua being the IBF champion. Deontay Wilder being a WBC champion and Joseph Parker being a WBO champion. So let's just take a peek and look and see where everybody was at. Um, you know, we knew Deontay Wilder. We knew where he was at. He was at the fight. You know, he was ringside at the at the Joshua Vladimir fight. Um, Joseph Parker was somewhere fat on Twitter. Um, not Joseph Parker. I'm sorry. Uh, Tyson Fury was somewhere fat on Twitter. Just chilling, you know, talking shit to Anthony Joshua. Um, and they were talking shit to each other, whatever. Um, so now we know where two champions are at. Um, we knew where the third champion is at because he was in the ring fighting, uh, you know, fighting Vladimir Klitschko. Um, where was Joseph Parker? Oh, here he, here he is. So he's not at the fight either. But I didn't hear any uproar about anybody saying if Joseph Parker wants to fight, he should be um, at this fight. It's the biggest heavyweight fight in boxing going on right now, which at that time it was. I, I didn't hear anybody saying, why isn't Joseph Parker at this fight? He should be here. Joseph Parker doesn't want to be undisputed. He doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to fight Joshua because he's not at the fight. Well, where was that? Where was everybody clamoring for that? So, you know, while Joseph Parker was sitting somewhere, chilling in a coffee shop, um, Tyson somewhere, fat um, on Twitter, um, you know, Deontay Wilder was at the Joshua Vladimir fight, um, and he was saying this. Which one generates, let's cut to it, which one generates the most excitement and the most money? I want to give the fans what they want, and everybody want to see Wilder and Joshua. You know, so uh, that's, that's the fight I would love to have at the end of the year. 
I want to go get Parker. I want to get that belt and um, and bring that those two belts uh, to the table. And at the end of the year or the top of next year, have a big, massive unification bout. You know, uh, winner takes all. Beyond that, you're here on Sky Duties this weekend, but surely your eyes will be on your next opponent. Mm. Any updates on that? I know you've called out Joseph Parker. Mm. I know Joseph Parker wants you, but he still wants to fight May 6th. Mm. That's obviously an unlikely date for yourself. Correct. When do you think we can? Well, he's definitely fighting May 6th. Um, I think it's going to be an easy opponent for him. He's he's fighting his sparring partner that he had in there for three weeks, so he should they should know each other very well. Um, but but uh, the fight with me and him is, is growing legs. So uh, after his fight, we're going to see what happens. Maybe it's a surprise, maybe it's not. I don't know. I honestly don't know. So Anthony Joshua defeats Vladimir Klitschko. Um, and now he's mandated to fight Luis Ortiz. Um, and so now the fuckery is going on. He doesn't want to fight Luis Ortiz, threatening to vacate his title, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so after all of that nonsense, ty uh, Luis Ortiz is trying to get a title fight with somebody. So he's like, forget it. I'll, I'll fight Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? And Deontay Wilder's not ducking the smoke. So Deontay Wilder's like, I mean, if you think you're the boogeyman, well, come on then. I'll fight you. Um, so that was the, the clearing for Anthony Joshua to move on. Because, you know, Anthony Joshua was already, he had fought, he had fought um, Takam instead of fighting his WBA mandatory, which he who he should have fought. But whatever. So Deontay Wilder set to fight Luis Ortiz. Um, and, you know, it gets real quiet for a little bit. With Lewis or with the uh, Deontay Wilder, Lewis Ortiz, and people are actually saying, "Oh, this fight isn't going to happen. Deontay Wilder's going to duck him." Blah blah blah, you know. And then it's Lewis Ortiz that comes up dirty with the uh, the blood pressure medication, and they're like, "Oh, he's not cheating. He's not cheating." Deontay Wilder didn't really want to fight him, you know. And then all the excuses because WBC canceled this, even though Deontay Wilder was still trying to fight him. The WBC canceled this, and when they canceled this, then they removed um, Lewis Ortiz. From the WBA mandatory, WBA did. I'm not going to get into that because I've already gotten to it on another video. Um, but you know, needless to say, then the excuses came out. You know, excuses left and right, just excuses, 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 excuses. Even though Deontay Wilder was not even Luis Ortiz was not the mandatory to Deontay Wilder, they were saying it as if Deontay Wilder was ducking this guy when he was never his mandatory. Luis Ortiz was never his mandatory, but whatever. Um, so in January, Deontay Wilder comes out and he's like, you know what, I'm going to this Joseph Parker fight because the, you know, the Joseph Parker fight was set. They, they moved past Deontay Wilder and the Tyson, I mean, the, uh, Lewis, Lewis Ortiz fight fell through because of his, his own doing. Deontay Wilder destroyed Stavern and then moved on. So he was like, look, I'm going to this, I'm going to this Joseph Parker fight. You know what I'm saying? I went to the Vladimir Klitschko one. I'm going to the Joseph, Joseph Parker one. And, you know, I'm going to call this fight. You know what I'm saying? He said, he, and he said look, I want to get in the ring. I want to I face off with this dude. You know what I'm saying? I, wanna, I want the world to see what we look like when we're standing together. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to see this. And this is how we build the fight. Um, this, is, this is how we build it. This is, you know, where I, I, I you know, he was saying his heart. Well, not in this one. He was saying uh, he thinks you know Joshua can. Joshua has, a, I mean, uh, Parker has a chance, but he wants Wild. He wants Joshua to win. You know what I'm saying? Because he wants to be the guy to, to fight him. He want that. That's the work that he wants to give. Um, and then you know, so uh, the the Wilder Wilder ended up fighting. Um, no, no, take that back. So then after that, it was uh yeah the beginning of that month, the beginning of March. Um, that's when. Uh, Eddie Hearn and Joshua came out talking about, yeah, you know, with Deontay Wilder is going to be an easier fight than Joseph Parker, and you know, we'll 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 fight him in the U.S. You know, we'll get a two fight deal and blah blah blah, just a whole bunch of BS, man. Just just making up a whole bunch of crap. You know, what I'm saying, and it's talking about how Deontay Wilder is easy and blah blah blah. Um, so, uh, you know, Lewis Ortiz gets cleared. This stuff gets cleared up, and Deontay Wilder um, goes to his fight, goes to Luis Ortiz's fight, calls his fight, and then Deontay Wilder gets in the ring after he goes to his fight because he was ringside when he destroyed that dude, Kajono, I think it was, he destroyed. 
Um, he was in ring. He got in the ring and told him to his face that he's knocking him out. He's going to give him. He's going to bless him with another opportunity, and he's knocking him out. So then, you know, March third comes around. Um, and yeah, Joshua could have called this fight. I mean, I know he was getting ready, but his fight wasn't until the end of the month. But whatever, Deontay Wilder goes in and destroy and destroys Luis Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? And now we're moving on, uh, talking about potentially uh, what Wilder's going to do or what he's going to be able to do at this at the up and coming fight with jo with uh, Joseph Parker, Anthony Joshua. So after the champ destroyed Luis Ortiz, he has some some words to say and some questions. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Tremendous fight, but uh, my question for you is you a lot of talk about Anthony Joshua. My question is on March 31st, are you going to be ringside uh, in, in uh, Cardiff, Wales to watch that fight? And if so, or even if you're not there, who do you want to win? Because maybe if Parker is the winner, maybe you'll have an easier time making a unification with him since I know you want the belts necessarily, not necessarily Joshua. Well, uh, unfortunately, um, Sky Sports definitely have hired me to come out and be a commentator, so I'm looking forward to uh, coming to Carter. I've never been to Carter before, so I'm looking forward to uh, making my, 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 my self presence there and, um, and love all my fans. You know, I got a lot of fans in the UK. And as um, and far as who winning, it doesn't matter who wins. Of course, everybody wants to see Anthony Josh and, and Deontay Wilder, of course. And um, with Joseph Parker, I don't, I don't know. They say they want to fight, but they had the opportunity to fight me before. That's why they came to Alabama to the fight and stuff like that. But when I knock people out, people start to get indecisive of what they really want to do. The day after, um, actually not the day after, two days after, two days after Wilder destroyed um, Luis Ortiz, you know, um, articles were all out. And one of them um, I took notice to, and it was that Anthony Joshua can no longer avoid Deontay Wilder. And there were some things in there that actually stood out to me um, that I felt like need to be, need to be addressed. Um, one of them was that now the pressure is on Team Joshua to actually do something to make this fight happen. Um, and in this article, Eddie Hearn, you know, um, it actually in this they talked about the marketability for Joshua. They said he's great over in the UK. You know he sells out. He's a monster over there when it comes to marketability. But in the US, not so much. You know, and pretty much fighting Deontay Wilder would open that would open that up for him like drastically. Um, and then they got into uh, what Eddie Hearn wanted, and Eddie Hearn was talking about. And while here we are, and Joshua, you know, and Joshua was talking. So here we are talking about Deontay Wilder and making that fight happen, but they're talking about Tyson Fury. Now, again, this is Tyson Fury in March, March of this year, March of 2018. This is this year. You know, he still wasn't even back yet. He, I mean, they're, and they're trying to, they're like, okay, well, we, you know, we'll fight Tyson Fury. You know, I'm like, listen, what happened to Tyson Fury needing all these tune-ups? What happened to Tyson Fury being not ready and all this other stuff? What happened to all that? Now you want to chase the Fury payday? Well, what are, what are we talking about here? I mean, just, uh, what what was it? Like, now we're with Fury, it's like, he's not ready for Deontay Wilder. He ain't ready. You know, he it, it, this is a bad fight, and this is so... But, but here you are, right out, like, the same week, the same week of... Deontay Wilder, like Deontay Wilder just finished beating Luis Ortiz. He is what's hot. But you're talking about a guy that hadn't fought in three years. That's what you're talking about. You're talking about a guy that hadn't done anything. This is the guy you're trying to fight. This is absolutely pathetic, but, but you guys won't mention this. They won't say anything about this. So after that, the only talk was Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White. 
They, they, the talk for Anthony Joshua was always, oh, well, that fight can't be next. Oh, well, well you know, because because Anthony Joshua is, you know, his only focus is on Charles, is on Joseph Parker. And then after that, um, you know, he might have a mandatory. So it might be later on in the year. And but but while that time, Deontay Wilder can get a fight in. He can fight Dillian White. Um, he can come to the OT, O2 and fight Dillian White. Um, you know, and Dillian White just had his fight with Lucas Brown. He's all yelling, let's go, Wilder, blah, 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 all this other nonsense. Like, bro, like, quit it, man. Quit it. You are a nothing nobody. You are an absolute nothing nobody. And they're like, oh, well, if 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 Dillian White is so easy, then why don't you just get him out the way? Why don't, that's, that's what they always say. If he's so easy, if you can beat Dillian White so easy, then why don't you just get Dillian White out the way? Okay, fine. Eddie Hearn said... Anthony Joshua beats Deontay Wilder. He knocks him out in three rounds. Well, if he knocks him out in three rounds, why don't he just get him out the way? Well, after all that, you know, Deontay is, you know, pushing through the Dillian White bullshit, and he's still pressing for Anthony Joshua. Um, he's like, I'm coming. You know, I'm getting I'm getting in the ring, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna call him out in the ring. You know what I'm saying? And Anthony Joshua comes out and says, Oh, well. No, you're not. You're not getting in the ring. You're not getting in because I'm not about the hype. Um, what? What do you mean you're not about the hype? How the fuck do you plan on building the fight if you're not about the hype? That's all you guys talk about is building the fight. Building the fight. This fight has to build. You've been saying it for two, three years. Got to build the fight. Have to build the fight. Got to build your profile while they build your profile. Well, what are you talking about? Don't you you and, and then you say, oh well, you know, I, I want all the belts. Well, he's got the belt. I don't understand what what, did, what the fuck are you talking about? You're not getting in the ring. Nope, not getting in the ring. Why not? Why not? Oh well, when Vladimir got in the ring, we had a contract signed already. Okay, well, give the man a champion split, and you wouldn't have to worry about it. You wouldn't have to worry about it. Let him fight Dillian White and put Joshua on the contract, and it would be a done deal. Give him 40%, it would have been a done deal. You did none of those things. You didn't even make an offer at all. None. Not at this point. You hadn't made any offer for nothing. So how, how, is, what, how, how is anything supposed to be anything? At this point in time, you had made no offers. The only offer was to fight um, Dillian White and Deontay Wilder. That was the only offer. You have made zero offers about nothing. Nothing. The very first offer you made was a month later from now. It was the very first offer. Come on, man. If this dude's like, oh, well, I'm not about the hype, so he's not getting in. You know, we'll have extra security. And Eddie Hearn's talking about, oh, well, you know, um, if, 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 if Joshua wants him in the ring, then he'll call him in. If you guys know Josh like I know Josh, then you know he's going to want him in there. Well, well, well how, why would we think that? Why would we think that at all? Why? He was at the Klitschko fight. He didn't call him in the ring at the Klitschko fight. So what will be the difference from then to now? So knowing that he wasn't going to be allowed to get in the ring, the extra security, blah, 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 you know, knowing all that, then Deontay Wilder said, fuck it, then I ain't going. What's the point? You know what I'm saying? What, what's the point of me going there? Like, so so y'all can try to match me up with Dillian White? Like, you're not going to force the issue on me. You, I want to fight Anthony Joshua. I don't want to fight Dillian White. Period. I don't want to fight that dude. I want to fight Anthony Joshua. He's a nothing nobody to me. I want the belts. I want Joshua. That's who I've been calling out for years. That's who I want. You can try to force Dillian White all you want. I don't want to fight him right now. He, he, can, he can get in line. I don't want to fight him right now. He's a nothing nobody to me. And you're not going to force, force anything on me. What's going to happen is you can give me Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? If you put Dillian White on the contract, then I'll beat him up and I'll go fight Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? Or he can go fight Lewis Ortiz and then I'll beat him up. But it's not going to be on your terms. You're not forcing nothing. So if you're not allowing me to do what I want to do over there, then what's the point of me going? Eddie Hearn went bananas. 
They did not like that. When Eddie realized that Deontay Wilder was not coming and he couldn't push Dillian White on Deontay Wilder, um, he was pissed. Um, he was pissed. He was going on tirades left and right, little, little rants left and right. Um, and then he calmed down, but then he had stuff to say. So let's take a listen to what he had to say. You want so bad, don't give me that bullshit. All you're doing is using Anthony Joshua's name. The way we look at it, we look at it one round. He's getting paid a load of money from Sky to come and work for him this week, and his bum's gone. Simple. Dillian White's there, Anthony Joshua's there. Oh, I want to get in the ring. Bullshit, your bum's gone. Don't talk about these fights if you've got no intention of taking them. You've got two fighters that will take his belt. Anthony Joshua, we know, and Dillian White as well. And we've improved that offer now to Deontay Wilder. And if he don't take this fight, he's a joke. Sorry. So is this just a rumor or have you been told no, by I've been told, I've been told he's not coming. The look on your face is the look that everybody's giving. Is he mad? What, who's advising him that? The whole epicenter of heavyweight boxing and the sport of boxing is in Cardiff on Saturday night. Jesus, like, it's bullshit. When was he meant to be coming? So Eddie Hearn was really mad. He was really upset that Deontay Wilder um, was not coming um, to Cardiff. He was really mad that Deontay Wilder was not going to be there. He was saying that all the media outlets were going to be there and Deontay Wilder doesn't really want to fight and Dillian White's going to be there and he just doesn't, he doesn't, you know, like, you just notice that he keeps using Dillian White. When Deontay Wilder already said he doesn't want to fight Dillian White, he wants to fight Anthony Joshua. He's already said that several times, but for some strange reason, um, Eddie Hearn just keeps on pushing the Dillian White piece. I don't, I just don't, I'm not sure Dillian White, uh, Wilder's going to fight White. I wish he would. And it's not a case of, um, and it's really important to make this clear, it's not like, oh, we're trying to protect AJ by putting Dillian White on him. Josh is fighting on Saturday night. If he boxes Wilder straight next, it won't be till October, November, December. So if he has an interim fight, it might be July or August, but then he could still fight Wilder in November, December. So it's just that Dillian White's ready to go. There's an opportunity in a time frame for that fight to happen in June. It's the biggest payday by far of Wilder's career so far. He seems to think it's an easy fight. And yeah, of course, it builds the AJ fight to whole new levels. But also, I believe Dillian White can win. And if that happened, you would get an undisputed heavyweight world championship fight between Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. So I think it's a no-lose for everybody, but you know, we've made them a, a bigger offer yesterday and we'll see what happens. He's not coming this week, which is a big disappointment, and it makes me think, does he even want to fight either of them? Because, Why is he not coming this well, week? Well, I think, I don't know. I mean, I think at, at the end of the day, this is the epicentre of world boxing, and particularly this weekend. There's not one uh, major media outlet that won't be in Cardiff this Saturday. So for Deontay, it would have been massive for him to be here. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it starts. It, it makes you start to question whether he actually wants the fight because if he wanted the fight, he, he has to be here. Yeah. And if people talk about getting in the ring, AJ would invite him in the ring. But what? It's not. We're not going to set up a script when a fight's not made. So again, it would be massive. He'd be up on the apron. Dillian White would be there, probably trying to jump on his shoulders. It's a Royal Rumble all over again. But this guy has just lost his fucking mind. He's just fucking absolutely lost his mind. He can see right now he's talking, he, he, what, what he wants because the very first thing he mentions is Dillian White right off the rip. So you can see what he really wants. Um, he's talking about um, can't fight Josh. Well, Josh can have an interim fight in the summertime. If you guys remember in my last video and I did about this topic, his plan was to always have Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua fight. Well, his supposed plan, his bullshit plan, was to have Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua fight in summertime of 2018. So while he's saying that Joshua can have an interim fight, um, and then, you know, the interim fight that he's talking about Joshua can have in, in July or August was supposed to be Deontay Wilder. That was what it was supposed to be based on what he said last year. Um, now him saying Anthony, uh, Dillian White is ready right now. So the fuck what? So what the fuck does that mean? Deontay Wilder or nobody else is obligated to do shit for Dillian White. No, nobody. The fuck do you mean just because he's ready right now? So that's your fucking problem. 
If he's ready right now, then he could have fought Deon uh, Anthony Joshua right now. And if you wanted him to fight Deontay Wilder, then you should have put Anthony Joshua on the contract. Like, t you just listen to what he says, right? He's saying the fight, if the fight with Anthony Joshua won't happen until the end of the year, right? That's what he's saying. He's saying that the, the timeline for um, Deontay Wilder, for Dillian White, you know, that time is a short window and it's ready right now. That's what he says, right? So if Wilder can fight White in June, right? And then the the fight for Wilder Joshua is at the end of the year, if, if Wilder wins, well, then why would you not, why would you not make a contract and put a verse for Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White with the winner to fight, jo fight Joshua at the end of the year? Why would you not do that? Because it's everything that you just now are saying you want. Fucking liar, man. Looks like he's not going to come this week. Are you disappointed that he first he's not here? Again, it's not really my business. I mean, I've had a few rants about it. I just, it, it baffles me that the advice that he's given, unless he's, I'm presuming that the advice he was given was to go and he's decided I ain't going just because he's angry or his ego or what. But if you ask any member of the media, okay, in the world, if you ask any promoter in the world, should Deontay Wilder be here right now in front of the world media and be there at the way in tomorrow in front of 5,000 and at the show in front of 78,000, what do you think the answer would be? I mean, I know you're a Deontay Wilder man, but you have to, you, know, you can't man just sit everybody. on the fence. Man for everybody, you can't sit on a fence in these kind of things. Do you think it would be worth his while being here around the world wide media. Right. So December 1st, 2018 will be Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury in the biggest fight in heavyweight boxing. All the media will be there. Um, the two major players, the two major players in the heavyweight division, um, the top three will be there fighting, but well, two of them will be there to fight. Um, Anybody who's anybody will be at that fight. And all, all the major publications will be there. All the major articles, all the major newspapers, all the major um, publicists, who, whoever. Whoever is anything in boxing will be at this December 1st fight. So please explain to me why Anthony Joshua will not be there. Oh, oh let me guess. Oh. I got it. He's got promotion. She's got promotional things. Well, if you have promotional things, where do you promote them at? Where there's the most visibility. Where else on earth where there'll be more, will there be more visibility on December 1st than at Wilder Fury fight? Two undefeated champions, the lineal king and the WBC king, squaring off for heavyweight supremacy with the winner of that fight. Um, it, it, the, the push and, and desire for a Joshua unification fight will be so huge. It, it will, it'll be massive. Absolutely massive. Now, you just heard Eddie Hearn going on tyrants, going livid, being upset that Deontay Wilder didn't show up to the Anthony Joshua fight. When Deontay Wilder had all intentions on going, the only thing that, hit, that held him up was because he wasn't going to be a pawn for Dillian White. He wanted to fight the king. He wanted to fight the IBF, WBA, and WBO king. That's who he wants to fight. He's the WBC king. He wants to fight the other king. He's fighting Tyson Fury, the lineal king. He doesn't want to fight a pawn. And that's what Dillian White was. Eddie Hearn said it himself. If Dillian White were, if Dillian White were to beat Deontay Wilder, then it would be an undisputed heavyweight championship, all UK. So the chess move for him is to get Dillian White talking shit, jumping on Deontay Wilder's back, a Royal Rumble style, right? 
And remember, he's the one talking about um, this isn't for show. This isn't for all that. That's what he was saying previously. But in this, he's all, all of a sudden now, it's Royal Rumble style. You know, these are his words, not mine. Um, but that, that it's the show for him. It's the event. It's the hype for him. But it was not the hype with Anthony Joshua. It's the hype with Dillian White. And Deontay Wilder is not about that hype. Deontay Wilder told him, if you want to fight me, I will fight you straight away. Fight and beat Luis Ortiz. He had the opportunity several times to fight Luis Ortiz. He did not fight Luis Ortiz. He could have fought Dominic Brazil and bypassed um, Deontay Wilder's demand and became the only mandatory if he beat Dominic Brazil. He turned that down. He's fighting Chisora in a money fight, in a rematch. For what? So he can fight Anthony Joshua? He doesn't need to fight Chisora to fight Anthony Joshua. They all fight under the same stable. He can fight Anthony Joshua without fighting Chisora. This, why, why are we playing stupid here? Anthony Joshua is not attending the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight. And there's literally little to no backlash. Little to no backlash. It's as if it's it's whatever. He doesn't have to. That's that's all that's what I'm getting. He doesn't have to. Well, if you look at Anthony Joshua's US numbers, I, I would say I would beg to differ. I would beg to differ. Anthony Joshua's U.S. numbers are absolute garbage. Absolute trash. Now, he has said on many occasions that he wants to fight in the U.S. On many occasions, Hearn has been trying to push him to the U.S. to build his profile. Push him in the U.S. to fight um, Gerald Miller in Brooklyn. He's going to fight Vladimir Klitschko in Vegas in the rematch. I mean, you're willing to fight these guys, but you're not willing to fight Deontay Wilder. This makes absolute no sense to me. Well, it does, because this man doesn't want to fight Deontay Wilder. And he knows, he knows, he will be called out by Deontay Wilder. This is the same way Deontay Wilder has been calling him out after all of his other fights. If he's in attendance, Deontay Wilder will call him out and embarrass him. That's why he's not going. It has nothing to do with promotional, nothing. Because if you are promoting something, then you want to do it with the most visibility possible. You're not going to promote it just by yourself, just, you know, with nobody around. Cut the bullshit. You're going to do it free publicity. That's what you're going to do. This is free publicity for him. All you got to do is get your, catch a plane flight. Oh, but he was in Miami, right? He was out in LA, right? Sitting at the, at the game, at the game. Um, in Floyd Mayweather's spot. But mysteriously now, mysteriously now, he has nothing going on. And I'd like to know what promotion this is. Because just saying, oh, I got promotion, that's bullshit. What promotion is it? You are a fucking liar. You don't want to be in the same room as Deontay Wilder. There is nothing holding you back. Nothing but your fucking courage. I wonder if he know that I know he's lying right now. Oh, you got the new Margiela? <laughs> that's what's up, that's what's up, I see you. That's your BMW? Mmm, that's nice. Mm. That's your girl? Golly, okay, I see you. But um, I just want to know one thing. Mm. You ready? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God, stop fucking lying. Always lying to me. Time you tell me something, I figure that you're lying. Who mm. is almost like you faking? Oh yeah, yeah I know you're lying, but you sound excited, and you know that I know that you're lying. Oh girl, cue the rain. Uh, I got gotcha. you. The rain, yeah. Turn it on. A, a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. I'ma keep on lying to you. Yeah. 